What's up guys, it's Hunter for Weekends on the Water. We're uh, doing something different. Gonna change up the pace a little bit. A uh, deal came on Facebook today for a free Hydrostream Viper with a trailer. It needs all redone and everything, but I think it'll be a good, good content for the channel. If you know about fast boats, you know about Hydrostreams. They, uh, from the 70s and 80s, they all, nowadays, as most people know, they need redone. Uh, the core, the stringers, the transom, all that. But we're gonna redo a hydro stream for you guys. It worked out, it's only, I got an hour to this guy's house. We'll go check it out, see if it's, see if it'll be good enough to redo. But Brandon let me borrow his car trailer. I don't know if you can see it behind me. Uh, Cause the trailer is not, not trailerable. So, uh, I know it's gonna need a lot of work, but I don't mind putting in some work. It's fun to me. I'm not an expert on fiberglass. I'm not an expert on painting. I'm a mechanic and a welder. I don't, <laughs> this stuff, I have, I have dipped my hands in it a little bit. I know enough to be dangerous, but it's fun. It's something different, something I enjoy. It would be a good learning curve for me. I know a lot of friends that are better at it than I am. So I'm sure they'll be getting a lot of phone calls along the way. Some guy said they'll even help out. So should be fun. We'll see how it goes. We're getting close. There she is. In the middle of the road for me. Gonna try to back her on the trailer. Look at that unit. Well, she don't look like much now. I see a diamond in the rough in there. Floor's been cut out. Transom's been cut out. You see how thin the fiberglass is. No rub rail. Bottom looks pretty good from what I can see now. She's rough, but the price is right. Well, she's loaded up on the trailer. I missed my opportunity to video loading it up, but the gentleman had a trailer there for us. Her uh, tractor, backed it on the trailer. It was easy. Well, there she is in the daylight. We're gonna go over some things. She's pretty rough. But I've seen a lot of these boats come from this stage, turn into something really nice. So I'm gonna get really familiar with fiberglass. There's holes, a bunch of holes in the top cap. We're missing a windshield, a windshield frame, missing all the rub rail. I don't really know what my first step is. I think because it's ready, I'll show you guys back here. Because it's ready, he already cut the transom out. The only thing holding the top cap to the bottom is some self-tappers. So I think if I pull the top cap off and so that way I can get in there and cut the rest of the floor out, cut the foam boxes out. Just give myself some more room. It's tight in there. Uh, once I get the top cap off and all stripped out, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the top top cap back on before I lay the boat back up. So that way, in case the sides sag down, uh, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just learning as I go. But it should be a fun project. So you can see there's holes everywhere in the top. But the bottom, the bottom's in really nice shape. From what I can, every day I can see. There's little chips in it, but no big repairs in the bottom. That's, that's good, and I think. Strip all the paint. A lot of work ahead of me. You see, they cut the floor out. 
You can see over here the core, how they laid up the core and how it's coming apart. Hopefully it all comes apart this easy because that's not too bad. Just lift it off, cut it, get all that out of there. All the holes in the dash, we'll fill them all in. Start from scratch. Get a clean slate, drill our holes when it's all back and ready to be rigged. The trailer's really rough too. I don't think she's gonna stay on this trailer. I know how to fix all that, but I don't know if that's the right thing to do or just try to find a, a nicer trailer for it. You see where somebody's pieced this together and you bounce it, it, it flexes there. That had snapped off on someone apparently and they welded in a smaller piece. The axle's in rough shape, leaf spring's in rough shape tires are shot I think the outside frame here is is fine just replace all them u-bolts and do bunks instead of rollers I'm not a, I don't like the rollers I'm a little scared for the rub rail but I have a long time before I gotta get there so that's it for now on the Viper uh, you guys leave some comments tell me any advice you guys have for me any tips be greatly appreciated uh this is gonna be my wife's boat so we're gonna build it to her likings she wants center steer for sure she wants to i'll still be driving it but this will be her boat so she wants to sit behind me try that out uh something she can put the dogs in she wants to take the dogs on the river because i don't let the dogs in the grand sport uh but that's it for this one thank you guys for watching see ya